The Break T28 is a robust, versatile disc trencher that can tilt the discs to lead the hummus in the same direction, either left or right, or closer or farther away from each other. It can withstand the most challenging terrain conditions from a lot of rocks and slashes. Scarification with the Break T28 offers several planting sites for plants and seeds regardless of the type of soil. It is installed in medium or large prime movers. These rakes are strong enough to rake in fallen trees and have previously lifted stump and root residues into large windrows. The rolling activity leaves wood residues free of soil and ideal for clean burning or biofuel processing. Production levels of 4-6 to six acres per hour are possible. The use of these powerful rotary rakes instead of the traditional dozer mounted front push rake can be very cost effective for large projects. The Mary RT600 is a peatland leveler and profiler fitted with a unique auger. The machine is best for clearing new bogs and preserving old ones. It can also be used for the development of agricultural fields on bog-based land. With screw levers, the processing areas can be optimally reshaped to keep the areas dry, even during rainy summers. The worked results may spread uniformly across the strip and be collected as a regular milled peat product. The Brake P11 provides successful scarification and planting on all soil types, from quickly worked and moist soil to stony fields filled by slashing. The operator can choose the planting site for each plant and even determine how it is shaped. Typically, the Brake P11 creates a mound of inverted hummus, compacts it, and sets the soil in the mound center. Mounding is a favored method of planting in most soil types. Whatever the method of scarification, the operator can make allowances for naturally regenerating plants and ecological conditions, as well as for cultural aspects and relics. The 930B is powered by a 320 horsepower Cummins QSL9 Tier 4 diesel engine with SCR after treatment. The machine contains a high capacity anti clog radiator with a self reversing fan. Unlike open loop waste fuel systems, Barco's hydraulic load sensing system automatically changes load based connections capacity, resulting in improved reliability and efficiency. With pressure ratings of up to 5,000 PSI, a high-flow hydraulic pump provides much more horsepower to the connection than competing equipment. The unique 45-degree joint resists intense stress and rugged terrain, 
while the unit's general maneuverable nature allows for operation in small spaces. The Model 1720 Stump Puller is built to pull stumps in a range of 7 to 23 inches in diameter, under various soil conditions. Its purpose is to remove the stump out enough so that the rotary rake can pick and tumble any stump into windrows that are free from soil and need to be burned or grind in the field optimally. The optimal drive speed of this beast is 3 to 4.5 miles per hour, which delivers at a rate of 3 to 4 acres per hour based on 10 feet. The EK60LP is a multi-purpose piling rig configured to operate in various piling modes, including rotary Kelly piling, CFA piling, and diaphragm walling. With this powerful machine, deep drilling of up to 1200 millimeters and 25 meters is possible. GEAX ensures high drilling performance in a compact size, low fuel consumption and maintenance. No special transport is needed, as it can easily crawl to its destination. This gripper is designed to handle large tires and wheels of up to 95 inches in diameter. You can attach it to any front loader, telehandler, crane or forklift. This versatility enables the operator to have complete control in order to securely and efficiently align service and change tires. The three-point grip ensures careful and safe handling of expensive tires. The infrared camera system and its exact rotation make it possible for one man to mount and disassemble wheels and tires. This machine is a trencher, specially designed for reliable, cost-effective production with 3-foot dig depths. It's ideal for light to medium trenching work. You can handle medium to high production trenching precisely with this trenching equipment. This type of equipment is often required for maintenance crews, municipalities, landscaping contractors, and rental facilities. This type of mobile roll compactor is designed to compress a large variety of waste forms obtained from open hook lift containers. By minimizing the amount of waste being compacted by up to 80%, the number of boxes packed is drastically decreased, adding together unprecedented freight cost savings, with many on-site operating advantages. Due to the heavy roller, twin motors and 58 horsepower engines, 
The PacMat mobile roll crusher motor can be used for simple, fast, and efficient compacting of aggregates, metals, wood, bulk waste, green waste, and general waste. The modern ETF haul truck is capable of dragging four times more rocks than the typical giant yellow monstrous mining trucks. It is able to carry up to 400 tons in a single load. The truck is also even more robust thanks to the central tire inflation system. The machine always controls and adjusts each wheel's height to counteract road bumps. If the tire unexpectedly deflates, the machine will instantly warn the driver and raise the wheel to allow the driver to continue driving. The CAT 7495 is a high-performance electric mining shovel made in two models. The 7495HR is a hard rock version, and the 7495HF is a high-float version used where low ground pressure is needed, such as oil sand excavation. Both models' shovels are capable of extracting 100 tons of material at a time and can load large mining trailers in two to three passes. The dipper capacity ranges from 27 to 61 cubic meters. This next device is a great tool for breaking up gravel-filled soil and improving efficiencies in the field. It helps to expose nutrient-rich soil to crops and increase yield, as well as plantable surface area. This is the Reefinator H4 from Rocks Gone Pty Limited. Its simple operation makes it easy to use with a simple attachment to a tractor. Its rugged build ensures long-term use. In short, it's great at getting the job done, whenever and however. The Forestry Winch 120G Power with a pulling force of 12 tons is the most extensive and robust in its category. The winch is mounted closer to the tractor, and the pulley is fixed lower, which increases and lowers the center of gravity of the winch. There is a little risk of lifting the tractor. It has an extra large drum capacity, which allows more wire ropes to be wound up. There are wide storage spaces on the front of the winch for convenient operation, so that the soil from the wheels of the tractor does not get between the chain and other machinery. There is also a hydraulic hinged rear plate to allow the manipulation and piling of logs.
Today's industries are looking to streamline transport assignments and make them more sustainable. Therefore, considering self-driving vehicles is not a bad idea. That is why Scania is working on a cabless autonomous concept truck, requiring no driver at all. However, this isn't an electric truck. It actually has an internal combustion engine, but Scania is working on its renewable biofuel powered variants. The roller chopper is designed to roll down and cut brush and trees up to around 3 inches in diameter. It will also break down some shallow roots. These are big, but they can easily be pulled up with a prime mover, usually a skitter. The drum can be loaded with extra weight water. Multi-drum versions have two additional blades on the rear drum to avoid tracking. These arrangements are recommended for the cutting and killing of light to medium growth. Preparation of the site has never been so straightforward. The Maxis Soil 350 is one of the largest tiller and stone crushers in the world, alongside the Kloss Zerion 5000. It is suitable for tractors with a power class of between 300 and 500 horsepower. The revolutionary rotor has an optimized combination of modern Super AXTM tools with additional tungsten carbide inserts in higher wear exposure areas. The Ranch Works Tandem Drum Aerator is designed for agricultural aeration and land management from the ground up. Using Ranch Tech blades, a heavy duty steel structure and triangulated tongue, its capabilities range from full subsoil fracture strength to brush clearing and land management applications. With its varied drum offset, the Tandem can switch from a no-till to a tillage machine, depending on what is required. You can operate the aerator at faster ground speeds reach higher acres per hour and increase efficiency. The Magnum 140 trailing bedding plow is a heavy duty four disc device capable of building a vast well formed bed perfect for poorly drained soils during high rainy seasons. It enhances moisture retention and herbal control by using the patented Stump Jump TM disc relief technology. The discs adjust in minutes and its bearings can be replaced in minutes. Superior tillage with easy maintenance. No other offset disc on the market can deliver. The mining company Peabody Energy has been digging coal for years from the heart of America's largest coal mine, the North Antelope Rochelle Mine. In 2008, Peabody decided to extend their mining capability by adding a fleet of the Lee Bear T282C. The T282C is an ultra-class dump truck with the capacity to carry and transport a 400-ton load. Its gross weight is 661 tons. Fully filled, it can run at 54 kilometers an hour due to its 3650 horsepower engine and a Litronic AC drive system. 
Currently, over 40 of these dumpers are working at this mining site, where they get their loads from over 400 feet below the surface. Cat wheel dozers are well known for their durability, power, and efficiency. The 854K wheel dozer is the largest in the dozer series and is designed for heavy duty industrial use, such as construction, energy production utilities, and much more. Its Cat C32 engine generates 907 horsepower at 1750 RPM and 3139 pound feet of torque at 1200 RPM. To maintain efficient load management for various material kinds, three distinct blades have been developed for this beast, which include a coal blade, a semi U blade, and a heavy duty semi U blade. Moreover, the machine incorporates a steering system and drive, an impeller clutch torque converter and rim pull control, and an electro hydro control. All of these contribute to its agility and responsiveness at work. This results in exceptional performance, less fuel consumption, and low maintenance. Next, we have the CAT 6060. It is a giant mining shovel machine weighing around 600 tons with its 61 ton payload bucket. The CAT 6060 can fill an ultra glass dump truck in just four passes and is able to exert a breakout force of 295,740 pounds. This tremendous amount of power comes from its two CAT 3512E engines, generating 3,023 gross horsepower. Moreover, its new hydraulic system, among with other enhancements, have boosted its fuel efficiency up 15%. With its maximum dig reach of 16.5 meters, the 6060 can dig 2.8 meters deep and hold its bucket 15.5 meters high. The new cab is also equipped with a windowed floor so that the operator can have more visibility. In short, the 6060 is an engineering masterpiece.
The CAT-8063 is an underground articulated truck. Its low-body design is precisely engineered to transport loads from narrow vein mining. Compared to its predecessor, the CAT-8063 is redesigned with more payload capacity and torque capabilities in mind. Now it can haul 63 tons more, which is 5% more than its previous versions. A new torque converter has been installed to have increased peak torque and improved gear retention. The CAT-8063 is using a CAT-32 engine that generates 795 horsepower at 1800 RPM. Moreover, these new additional features have enhanced operator economics, maintenance access and safety, and data collection for machine health monitoring. The Li Bear R9800 is counted as one of the world's biggest excavators due to its 800 ton weight. The first R9800 was brought to the east coast of Queensland, Australia in 2009. The excavator was then divided into 13 separate components that had to be reassembled on site. A group of 12 specialists agreed to plan out the position of each component so that it could be readily constructed. All in all, it took 12 weeks to put together. With a bucket capacity of 62.1 cubic yards and two Cummins engines generating a combined 4,000 horsepower, this monster is truly something else. Caterpillar's new CAT D4 dozer offers improved sight lines and reduced operating costs while not compromising on the machine's legendary power, precision, and optimized balance for smooth grading performance. The new dozer weighs in at 29,259 pounds with a net power of 130 horsepower. A lower sloping hood line provides up to 30% better visibility to the area in front of the blade. The narrower sight lines reduce the visual distance between the blade and the material pile by approximately 40%, allowing for quicker work and less time backing up. This monster of a truck is known as the road train in America. It is transporting these 400 ton generators from California. Compared to its typical superload carrier, it can run comfortably in speeds of up to 25 kilometers an hour. And that's what it can do with its great trailer. 
The trailer has 192 tires and is 300 feet long and 20 feet high. It requires at least 5 hauling loads to carry this heavy load. But here, the extraordinary 600 horsepower truck, aka the Mack Titan, is strong enough to pull these massive loads. The size of heavyweight superloads also adds more challenges for transporters. That's the reason why most of the surveys have been carried out since every superload was taken. The road's length and width are measured, and every obstacle is assessed so that there should be no problem on the way. Now they are carrying a blade of a wind turbine. Each regular blade is about 120 feet long. Modular trailers are used to carry heavy cargo, but unlike SPMTs, these can't run by themselves. Usually, a truck or tractor is used to pull them. The combined units are sometimes called road rails. For this load, the Beelin Group coupled a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750. Integrating both marvels has made the transportation service much faster and more flexible. Beelin Group now heavily relies on these you can see the speedy delivery of the loaded excavator, which reflects its efficiency. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps us a lot. The steel industry was in dire need of a special trailer that could handle 900 degree hot steel slabs. After much effort, the well-known company Kamag succeeded in making it. However, the slab trailer needed a ride for going to its work. The TTI group stepped in with its two intercombine trailers to help. These trailers have the functionality of both a modular trailer as well as an SPMT. When necessary, these can function in both ways. The load weighed 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4. They finally delivered it to the Heilbronn Harbor after crossing a 269 kilometer long path with many ups and downs. Sometimes the size of a load causes more complications than the weight. But when you have to carry up to 200 tons of load across a narrow public area, transportation becomes even more dangerous. In 2013, such a situation occurred when Felbermayr came to Romania with eight steel giants. Each weighed 245 tons. There were hurdles like plants and trees on both sides of the road. A slight twitch could cause a severe accident but the attentive and experienced team of Felbermayr successfully delivered to the port of Constanta without even a scratch.
The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, National Group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. Before putting the load on the route, a cargo company has to conduct numerous surveys. Most of the time, it is spent measuring every aspect of the freight. Furthermore, the investigated data is presented to authorities for required approvals. Sometimes authorities shut down all traffic. Bridges along the way are sometimes removed and the transportation companies pay for it. However, transportation companies like Omega Morgan do not allow anything to be broken even if they carry a 400-ton, super-bulk yacht in a narrow street. Large ships such as this excursion steamer cost millions of dollars. Recently, Kubler made history by transporting a vast ship to its new home. First and foremost, they separated the upper deck from the hull and transferred it to a carrier. Similarly, Kubler's B team took the hull of the ship. Kubler ran multiple simulations before putting the loads on route. It enables them to precisely move through each decision they make along the way. Up next, we have a Caterpillar water tank that is sitting on a cargo system developed by NHH. Typically, such large cargo needs road inspections before transportation. In certain countries, permission from the government is also required since the weight of the immense load may cause damage to roads and bridges. It is also necessary because the size of the cargo may cause a block for other traffic. However, in Australia, transporters can easily transport the superload as their highways often remain vacant.
The size of the load is critical in transportation. Transporters make every effort to keep the load as low as possible. This maintains the cargo steady throughout transportation, reduces the amount of work required to load the trailer, and enables carriers to proceed without harming any adjacent property. Here you can see the transfer of a 124 ton cargo that is 12 meters wide and 25 meters long. Brashuis is utilizing their SL trailer to transport such an oversized cargo. The trailer is equipped with nine axles. It is providing a minimal loading height of 790 millimeters. Additionally, the trailer can be tilted 57 degrees while entering or exiting the loading dock in reverse. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these two. Feel free to like and subscribe, it's always a big help to us. And with that, we'll see you next time.